In this video, we'll be taking a look at a few chart analyses to get you prepared for the week ahead. We'll be taking a look at gold, GBBUSD, NASDAQ, AeroUSD, and crude oil. If you love the content, as usual, please like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in learning trade forex um, like a professional, check out our forex trading course on Udemy. I have the link attached in the description below. So we'll be starting with the gold chart on the four hours time frame, as you can see on my screen. We had a massive, you know, um, decline on gold over the last two weeks. So all the way from these highs over here down to the current lows. So I think we're still going to remain bearish on gold till we at least hit this area of value, which is this support level I have at line on the charts, right? So I'm watching that for a bearish continuation pattern. So something like this, like a uh, bearish flag or a bearish rectangle, symmetrical triangle or a descent triangle of sort for me to go short. So this is what I'll be watching out for to go short on G, uh, on gold, excuse me. So when we get this pattern, I'm simply going to wait for a breakout. See, a bearish breakout, then I'm going to go short. So um, if you follow me uh, often, you understand this is the uh, this is how I trade. And the reason why I trade like this is because it gives us a better risk to reward the show when we get into these trades. Mind you, I'll be watching out for this pattern on a one hour time frame okay because that's where i pick my entry for you know day trading so this current uh, this is currently a four hour chart so we're going to be watching out for this part on the one hour chart so the reason i'm um, analyzing the four hour chart in this video is so you can see the entire picture on my screen right so you can see we had a double bottom over here which led to this massive move to the upside where we tapped into the all-time highs um creating a triple top if you take a look at the daily time frame so we had this decline, massive rejections of this resistance level, another one here, and this just led to a massive bearish mode. So if you take a look at this overall pattern over here, so this looks like a bearish continuation pattern, like um, an ascending triangle with a bearish breakout, right? The reason why it's a uh, bearish continuation pattern is because we had a bearish move first, and then the massive consolidation which led to this uh, bearish breakout. So, we're waiting for a similar pattern like that over here, but on a one hour time frame, a very small scale for a continuation of this bearish movement to the downside. So, I'm going to quickly go down to the one hour time frame to show you an example of what I'm talking about. So, this is the one hour time frame on gold. And if you zoom in, yes. So, just give me a minute. I'm going to get rid of these lines over here and this one. So, zooming in, you can see after taking a dump. We had this consolidation over here where we had uh, we got rejected from this re uh, mini resistance level that led to a bearish decline. So I'm going to wait for some sort of pattern again with a bearish breakout to go short. So this gives us a better risk to reward ratio because stop loss tends to you know be placed around the highs of the consolidation at least to the breakout. Where our entry is going to be similar to the breakout with our take profit at this area of value. So. Going back to the 4 hours time frame, this area of value is where we will be looking forward to looking for buys, right? Um, looking for buy position because right now I don't see any reason why you want to go long on gold because we are clearly not trading at an area of value. So for a chart like this, you wait for price to get into this area of value where you look for your opportunities to go long if those opportunities present themselves, right? So right now, just before we get into this area of value, we're going to wait for that consolidation, a bearish continuation pattern for us to go short. So that's it briefly for gold. Moving on, we'll be taking a look at GBBUSD real quick. And from our previous um, analysis, uh, we were expecting a bounce off of this area of value, but we had a breakout. So now that we have a breakout, we are expecting price to come into this other area of value. So this is a valid support level where I look forward to opening those buy positions we didn't get at this price levels, right? So for me to go short, since we're currently taking a dump on GBUSD, we're going to wait for similar pattern on gold, consolidation pattern, right? A bearish continuation pattern, the bearish breakout, sending price all the way down to this area of value, where I'm going to look forward to open my long positions for the upside, right? So the reason why we're uh, watching over this consolidation, as I always say, or like I said earlier on gold, is because it gives us a better risk to reward ratio when we jump into those trades. So that's the only reason why I will be waiting for a consolidation like this for us to go short on the bearish breakouts aiming for these lower price levels. So in charts like this, you don't go long because there's just no reason to go long. We had a decline, wait for a consolidation, a bearish breakout, and a continuation. You go short. 
that's it that's how you trade charts like this on gbusd so really brief um nothing out of the ordinary just exactly what i've explained right now is what i'll be watching out for to go short so everything we've talked about uh, gbusd gold arrow usd over the past one month now has come true with these consolidations and you know bearish breakouts and if you follow the setups you just you know end up in the money every week so that's uh, my principle that's what i'll be trading with and not until we get into this area of value i wouldn't be going long so i only uh, consider going long where we get into these price levels because this will be a significant price level to go long or probably continue the short positions if we get a bearish breakout so that's it briefly for gbb usd if you're interested in learning to carry out professional market analysis like this that will make you money every week check out our forex trading course on udemy it's a complete forex trading course you really do not need anything else we're having a discount for the new month by the way happy new month is october use the link in the description below to get access to that course so moving on we'll be talking about nasdaq real quick uh we had a rejection over here we had another one here and we had another one here so to the downside we had a rejection over here we had another one here and one most recent um rejection bullish rejection at these price levels so right now i think it is logical to expect um nasdaq to get a bullish move to the upside maybe something like this touching this uh trend line then reverse it to the downside so i would expect something like this to play about you never know with the market we just follow the price action wherever it leads so this is a two hours chart i'm going to zoom in a little so you clearly see what i'll be watching next week right so zooming in you can see we had some price action over here with this falling wedge bullish breakout retest of the broken um area of resistance now turning to a support level so i'm simply going to wait for price to evolve over this price level with uh you know a bullish signal to go long right so that bullish signal would be a bullish continuation pattern it could be an ascending triangle it could be a symmetrical triangle it's a bullish breakout it could be a bullish flag whatever pattern is formed at this price level would be my signal to go long right in continuation of this uh bullish bounce off of this trend line like i showed you earlier on right just to recap quickly i'm gonna wait for this consolidation something like this okay something like this and then a bullish breakout so it's gonna look like this when you take the highs so a signal like this would be what i'll be watching out for to go long on nasdaq aiming for this high so i'm um, first of all i'm gonna aim for this highs here then take out some profits and see how long it takes for price to get here because if we take too long then we may get to this price levels at you know uh this price levels right that's maybe on 11th of october so no matter how long it takes we we'll just stay patient enough, wait for these patterns, get our breakout, then go long. While for a short position, remember, there's always two sides of the coin. So for a short position, I'm simply going to wait for price to, you know, consolidate around this newly found support level and give us a good bearish breakout to the downside. So this will also take out this trend line. So if you take out this trend line like this, so a consolidation like this will take out this trend line and also take out this support level for me to go short so my short position will be at the breakout sl will be above the consolidation list of the breakout and my first target is going to be around these lows so the reason why my target is going to be around these lows is because if you zoom in sorry zoom out rather you see we had two bounces up of these price levels um in may yeah may uh, may of 2023 so this will be my next possible target if we indeed go short I know this price action looks messy, but this is what I'll be watching out for to go short on Nasdaq, and I believe it's pretty clear. Mind you, I'm going to be watching out for these confirmations on a one-hour time frame because right now I'm explaining I'm explaining on a two-hour time frame. So that's it briefly for Nasdaq. Moving on, we're we'll talking about Aero USD. So Aero USD is pretty similar to what we have on the GBB USD chart. The only you know difference here is that we just bounced off a very significant support level. So I'm going to watch out for a consolidation on this support level, followed by a bearish breakout. This is going to be a solid trade. So I'm going to go short at a breakout from this support level. That's if it happens. I'm not saying it's going to happen. First target is going to be around this um, area of value. Second target is going to be around these lows, right? So this is how I'm going to trade Aero USD if we indeed get that bearish breakout from this support level. Alternatively, for a bullish case scenario. 
if we don't you know get a bearish breakout i'm gonna wait for a consolidation that gives us a sign of a reversal then i'm gonna look for a bullish breakout to go long so this would also coincide with the price putting higher lows right because we just tapped into the support level it's be logical to wait for higher lows for me to confirm bullish strength and bullish momentum in the market then uh giving us a clear resistance and a bullish breakout to go long so this is what i'll be watching out for to go long on aero usd so for a pattern like this the safest place to set your stop loss will be below the um support level where your target could be all the way up to these highs because clearly this still looks like a bullish you know market right not until we take out this support level so this is it briefly for aero usd mind you i'll be doing this on a one hour time frame so this is the four hours time frame and i'm looking at this from a four hours time frame just so you get the entire you know view of my chart right so that's why we are taking a look at this from the four hours time frame other than this i'm just going to watch out for the one hour time frame for my confirmations to go either long or short as the case may be so we follow price action wherever it leads right so lastly we're going to be talking about crude oil so crude oil we made a killing last week um i sent this chart on our instagram page excuse me and uh, we had a good breakout and a follow through which made us some decent amount of pips so let's see so this was approximately 300 pips and i think i got about 250 pips out of that move so right now we seem to be reversing i don't think this bullish momentum is coming to an end anytime soon so i'm expecting price to slowly creep to the downside aiming for this you know um support level where i'm going to look for opportunities to go long just like i explained on aero usd so at this uh, price level if you're looking to get in quickly you could watch out for reversal candlestick like dojis or like um, bullish and gothic candles and so on with a good confirmation or a good bullish momentum for you to go long off of this support level on crude oil so that is going to be my signal to go long why for a short position remember there's always two sides of the coin i'm going to wait for price to come here consolidate a little and then give us a bearish breakout so a bearish breakout from this price level would be my signal to go short right signal to go short stop loss above the consolidation at least of the breakout and my first target is going to be around these lows second target is going to be around this area of value so this is an area of value because if you look all the way back this is actually on high so a um resistance level potentially going to turn into a support level so that's it briefly for uh crude oil and this week's analysis if you love the content please like subscribe leave your thoughts in the comment section and if you are from nigeria like me happy independence day october first so that's it for me guys see you next week and lastly just before i go if you're not part of our discord community yet use the link in the description below to join our discord community it's totally free you will get lots of you know free educational content over there and lots of um, updates from experienced traders within the community. That's it, guys. See you next week.